Hi everyone, this is a reading for you from me. If this reading resonates with you at any point, please do like this reading, comment down below and follow. It's a very safe space where I have messages for you that I am going to deliver to you. So we'll have a look and see what is coming through. Um, I also do have as well personal uh, readings and services if anyone's interested. Um, personal tarot readings and personal rituals are done within 12 to 24 hours. Everything is linked down below and also in the description box and on shopmoonlightguidance.com. Um, there's rituals for love, money, marriage, career, success, healing, beauty, justice, etc. And there's thousands of five-star reviews and there's also personal tarot readings and also intention items which are handmade, meditated with and saged for various areas of your life. Um, you know, bracelets, candles, sage bundles, teas, anklets, pom-poms, which you can put on your pillow and embroidered cards, etc. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is coming through your way. There has been a separation between you and another person. I am sensing a lot of distance, a lot of space, and a lot of sadness. The Five of Cups really does indicate a lot of sadness on their side because, you know, they do think about you and they feel very alone. Interestingly enough, it sort of mirrors on your side as well, where you feel very sad that things have gone in this particular direction, but also with the Five of Pentacles, you feel very lonely and you feel very frustrated and you just feel so just so sad, you know, that there is this sort of sense of you feeling very singular, very alone, not having that support from this person really at this very point in time. And you feel very rejected and dejected. You just feel so unwanted and abandoned and left out sort of in the cold, you know, and just really, really upset. There's a lot of water energy here that I'm picking up on. But there's also with the death card, the sense of sort of death and rebirth and, you know, feeling connected to this person, feeling drawn to this person, but also feeling very helpless because you feel like, well, things are stagnant, things are stationary. How do I even revive things? How do I even make things happen? How do I progress things? You just feel so um, helpless because you feel like if I talk to them, they'll just push me away. You know, they'll feel like, oh my God, what's this person doing? You know, and then also at the same time, you feel like you have self-respect you know, like, why would you run and chase after a person who has willingly done this, right? So you feel two-sided, you feel emotional, and you want things to be right, and you want to give things a try, but on the other side, you are literally thinking to yourself, but this person is doing nothing. They're literally doing nothing, so I can't step over my self, you know, self-respect to please this person, like, how dare me do that? And so... The main thing here that I'm seeing is that actually pulling your energy back towards yourself, which is this independent and confident energy, helps the situation. Now, we know that the law of attraction works when you know what you want and you are okay without it. Well, how do you be okay without a person? It means healing. It means shifting more of that energy towards yourself. It means making yourself the star of your own life. Don't put them on the pedestal. Put yourself on that pedestal for you, not for them for you. The minute you start to put yourself on that pedestal, people will see you as the star and they will respect you and they will, you know, look at you. The minute you are, you know, running and chasing, you're a fan. You're not the star. You're the fan, you know. So it's really about shifting that energy, about romanticizing, glamour glamorizing yourself, loving yourself, looking after yourself. You don't need to do big things. You don't need to do expensive things. It's literally just about loving yourself, being there for yourself and appreciating your energy and telling yourself it's okay. It's okay. If you find it very, very hard to love yourself, to put yourself first, to detach, to heal, I really recommend the manifest your specific person. It guarantees your person to come towards you. What it does is it heals your energy. It makes you feel more desirable within yourself. It pulls your energy back towards yourself. It makes you love yourself. It makes you respect yourself. It makes you feel good about yourself. And then it triggers the other person to have less of your spiritual energy, which triggers them to want your energy because your energy that you've pulled back is very strong. And that triggers them to come towards you. It triggers them to progress towards you. It triggers them to want to be in your life. So, you know, if you find it very hard to put yourself first, to look after yourself, to take care of yourself, the manifest your specific person ritual, which is on my website and linked down below, helps for them to actually come into your life. It guarantees them to be in your life. It guarantees them to come forward. It guarantees them to take action, you know, to do something. I really recommend that ritual 
so much because it will allow them to progress into your life. And it is a very, very powerful ritual that allows you to feel your best as well. You know, not to feel your worst, but to feel your best. And so this person, you know, is absolutely going to come in that sense. When your energy is attractive, when your energy is aligned, when your energy is strong, what does it do? It triggers them to come towards you. It triggers them to want to be with you, to work things out with you, to move things along with you, to do more towards you. It absolutely triggers your person with the lover's card to progress towards you and to make a move, you know, because they are stuck, they are stagnant, they are overwhelmed right now. And the more of that energy of yours that you are giving to them when they are already overwhelmed, they will push you away because they will feel that spiritually, okay? Even if you're not saying anything or doing anything, they will pick up on the fact that you are wanting a lot from them right now and that your energy is all over them, and they will get a little bit overwhelmed. Even if you don't say anything, people can pick up on spiritual energies, and you know they'll be like, I don't wanna look in that direction right now, it's, it's just too much. The minute you pull that energy towards yourself and you do this, it will actually trigger them to look in your direction, to poke a nose, to be like, I wonder what you're doing over there. Maybe I should come forward. Maybe I should say something. Maybe there's something in that direction that needs looking at. It really triggers them to do something significant and to do more basically okay so we have also got temperance which means reconciliation energy they're going to want to reconcile with you they're going to want to get back together with you but check your energy your energy energy you need more energy what is it energy okay the affirmation to this reading if it resonates with you so far is my energy revitalizes everything not only does it revitalize yourself, but it actually triggers them to feel a change in you, okay? Without you even saying anything or doing anything, they will pick up on a change spiritually, which will trigger them to then come towards you, to move towards you, to progress towards you. It then allows everything to take place and for you to feel happier and stronger and much more motivated within yourself and everything else going on. So, you know, that's what we see with Temperance. It's what we see with the Nine of Cups. It's also what we see with the King of Swords. They will come to you. They will talk to you. They will do everything towards you. A lot of people around know that this person also really does love you and they care about you. It's just that they are stuck in not feeling great and not feeling good and sort of stuck in their ego a little bit, you know, and, and just wanting to do their own thing. But there are people around that just know that, you know, this person loves you and cares about you. It's just that they're kind of stuck in their own ways right now. But it shows a major change happening because Wheel of Fortune shows a major change. It shows progress. It shows movement. It shows happiness. It shows joy. It really shows things moving in the right direction and coming together. And they will work hard towards building this connection towards more stability because they will realize, wait a second, I need to do something. I need to be proactive. Why am I like running and just doing things in that way? You know what I mean? Like they will realize I need to actually do more and I need to be more stable and I need to be more kind and I need to be more caring. So it triggers them to do more of that, you know, especially with the tower as well. There's a sense here of them obviously having created some destruction in the connection, but then realizing I need to rebuild it. You know, I, I want to rebuild it because they will realize that you are the only person that has truly been there for them and stuck with them and respected them and loved them and cared for them. And so it's a sense here of like, I need to now do something about this and I need to not be so on my high horse, just doing whatever, but actually being proactive. They don't want to continue to self-sabotage things. And also on your side, you also don't want to continue to self-sabotage things where you are giving them your energy for free. And then they're just doing nothing. You want to instead do the opposite where you pull your energy towards yourself. You look after yourself, love yourself, take care of yourself. You give them as much as they give you and boom, that will trigger them to honestly feel like, wait a second, I got to do more here. You know, I'm being lazy. I need to do more. I need to be more proactive, I need to be more caring, loving, I need to, I need to do more. And they will then be triggered to do more. And it's because you are triggered to do more within yourself that they are then triggered to do more towards you. When you put yourself on the pedestal, people will put you on the pedestal. It starts with your energy first and everything else follows, which is why the ritual that I mentioned is really great to do if you struggle a lot within your own energy. I would also recommend that you try to meditate, you try to put yourself first, you look after yourself. Um, if you find it that you know you struggle a lot with healing, even a healing ritual can help a lot as well to heal your energies so that you are not holding on to these additional things that make you run and chase after them, but then they're just running constantly. You know what I mean? So this is really important. And let's have a look at a 
love message to see what's going on and what I can tell you. You make me melt, okay? You make this person melt. You make them feel things that nobody else has made them feel. You make this person feel just so good, you know? But when they feel an excess from your energy, they get overwhelmed. So it's, again, about just putting that balance back into the mix because we have here, you are my true love. This person loves you. Other people know that this person loves you. They just kind of are trying to energetically become more balanced and less scared because sometimes when they have too much energy from you, they do get scared. So it's about bringing everything into balance. They will come to you. They will reconcile with you. They will reunite with you, rekindle things with you, redo things with you and come forward. And this is your reading. If this resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how it resonates. I also have TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every day. It's moonlight.guidance on Instagram, moonlightguidance on TikTok. I hope to see you all very, very soon. And yes, this is your reading. All right. So I hope to see you all very soon and definitely do take care as well. All right, take care. Bye.